beautiful people. Samantha here, branches of vibrational healing. Um, so on my TikTok, I said how I'm going to really start sharing my spiritual experiences, my esoteric, etheric experiences. And um, I just got finished doing a, like a writing, somatic writing. I was an hour and a half late because I don't know how to tell time. <laughs> um, so I have no idea what the beginning of the class was, the prompts for it. I signed on and it was going into like one of the final prompts. So I'm like, all right, that's fine. Right. I'll, I trust it. So as soon as I like close my eyes, I was brought somewhere and I'm on this path. And it's um, beautiful, rich soil. I'm in this forest that reminded me of Mount Shasta, but more like mystical. The There was like evergreen trees and different types of beautiful trees that just had this beautiful green to them and this like calm yet playful energy. And she had asked, is anyone there with you? To your right, to your left, above you. And to my right was um, Archangel Raphael and I heard divine physician on my left was Paul the Venetian and all of these uh shimmering silver energies and I was like oh it's beautiful and then in front of me on the path was Nico and he's like hi mama and so that made me cry and then above Nico was um an owl a, a gray owl which is also one of my guides I don't know if you can see like up there one of my guides um I have owls everywhere <laughs> but it was a gray owl and I haven't interacted with the owl a lot in like my meditations uh, recently. So it was cool to see the owl and it had a grandfather energy. It really felt like my Pepe, my dad's dad. I was like, this is cool. And as I looked down at my feet, I realized that I had these like, kind of like, I had feet, I had toes, but I, my body was a fairy. I was some type of elemental. I was wearing like translucent so I might have been naked I don't know but I had this like translucent green light blue outfit on we'll say even though I could see through it but I was shimmering I was definitely like a forest energy and um above me with it was this star this golden star with these purple hues and it felt like this the forest was just open to the sun right and I was like, wow, this is so nice. And she's like, what does it feel like? I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I feel like I'm floating. I feel like I'm light. I feel like it's maybe summertime because everything's so rich. And then there was deer there and um, it was beautiful. And then she was like, okay, now write for seven minutes or whatever. And I started to float up. I thought I was going to walk on the path, but I started to float up. And I looked and like, it was my forest. It was like this kingdom and there was all these paths and it was gorgeous. And um, it was, I got messages around, let's see. Okay, so rather than me walking along the path, I floated up along the height of the trees, smiling as I got higher and higher, seeing a whole world of trees and paths. There is no right way I heard. It's yours. It's all already here. So no matter where you go, it'll all work out. You made the biggest, boldest leap, which I was shown was my nursing transition. You are not letting fear stop you. And then they showed me my family and other people. So like ancestrally cleared a lot from my memory, from my, for me. Um, and you can't be stopped unless you stop yourself. So continue to float and enjoy the ride. And I was like, whoa. And I was just seeing this forest and it was like, no matter where you go into, you're already aligned. Like you're on your highest path, like you did it. And it was just this very light, fun, mystical energy. And Nico was talking to me and then the owl was like, see, you see all perspectives. You've escaped a very judgmental, controlled environment, which is society, which is um, ancestral limiting beliefs, right? I've stepped outside of so many <sighs> tight quarters, we'll say, that could have really and did for a really long time um, drain me, right? Make me sick and not believe in myself and love myself fully. 
So then the next part was to connect to like an ancient energy within me, my skeletal bones. And I felt my jaw and right here, like, ah, I was like, oh, interesting. And then me as a fairy floated up. And then I saw me laying down as this like stone tight goddess queen, Nubian queen. And like, I was like a fossil. And then um, I kind of floated up and I had this very like square, long, long body. Like I was very big, like very tall, long feet, long hands, black hair, I had black hair in both. Um, these almond eyes, almond skin. And I had these like colored, like hieroglyphics or whatever on me um, in some areas. And I was like, whoa. And my jaw was like starting to loosen up. And then um, I was naked. And as I connected to it to write for seven minutes, speak from a space within. Um, holding my voice, they stripped me of my power. So this is me as the Nubian queen speaking. I am the channel of the Nile, of the flow of joy, truth, and wisdom. They strip me of my power. My bones feel rigid and broken from defeat. Yet my head holds tall as I keep my noble energy connected to all. I am a queen. I am a goddess. I'm a medicine woman. I'm a channel to heal. Place me on my feet and dare them to let me breathe. I have the power of a dragon inside my fire and the roar of a lion inside my chest. I have the gentle energy of a deer and this... The sweet, of a, the sweet tweet of a flight of a bird in the air. I take back my power, my keys, my reign. I unite and unleash. This is my kingdom, my domain. No more, no more will I sleep. Um, oh, badass. And then I was crying. And then my fairy self was sending indigo light to my Nubian queen self, to my bone structure. And like I started cracking and I started to stretch and it was like, I was being reborn. Like I was taken out of this tomb and um, all of like the rocks, all of the stuck energy on me started cracking and breaking and falling to the ground. My long feet and hands started stretching. I was like moving my body. And the more I sent this indigo light as my fairy self to me, started seeing my organs come back alive the blood in my body start running and it was like I literally just did soul retrieval on myself by being a fairy and um all of this happened in like 20 minutes and I just kept hearing nothing will break me nothing will break me I felt like I was an ancient Nubian fossil um everyone in my path has been part of my destruction and as part of my reconstruction and my creation for me to be in my domain. Um, no more will I sleep. And it was just like badass. Um, I was a fossil of ancient strength. And now I've been broken open to share my medicine with all as I speak. So it's probably her working through me sharing this with you. Um, but yeah, super powerful, super cool. I have chills as I'm sharing this. To know that we literally are badass beings and this human physical body is here for us to create, to adventure, to enjoy the ride, but to know we're not limited to this body, right? Like I didn't, I could have left the class because I missed the first hour and a half, but instead I trusted that I was there right where I was supposed to be in that moment. And I was, and I received a huge shift, um, and it's really beautiful. So I just wanted to share my experience with you because we're all here to share our voice. We all have a voice. No more being repressed. Like time to step into our light, baby. Time to step into our light. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I just want to share that. Um, and I also just want to point out, share this video with someone who you feel like needs a little fun imagination. Uh, and um, yeah. So cool. I'm so excited to share this with you. I don't care if you think I'm weird because I am. Uh, and Maria and I have a retreat coming up in Sedona, which we're going to help you tap into your limitless potential, your medicine. I can't wait to do light language and transmissions. We have so many beautiful practitioners coming that are just heart centered. We're here for you. 
We're here for us. We're here to heal. Um, and it's time. It's go time, baby. Go time. Uh, and Maria, I offer limitless sessions if you want to tap in uh, a little bit more and see what your gifts are, see what your limited beliefs are to help you shift into your limitless potential. Um, it just takes a shift in perspective and a little little guidance. But yeah, so just sharing that. I love you all. Have a beautiful, beautiful, blessed day.